Michelle here again with another story. Remember last time when I read Day at the Beach? I told you I had another story about sandcastles. And here's the story. It's called The Sandcastle That Lola Built by Megan Maynard and Kate Berube. And this is our main character. That's Lola. I'm going to turn to this page so we can get a good picture of the beach that Lola is at right now. And you can see, I think it's really cool, up here in the clouds. Don't those clouds look like mermaids? I wonder if mermaids are somehow going to show up in our story. Do you see Lola? Let me zoom in real quick. She's the one carrying the green bucket. Let's see. She's got that red swimsuit on. Oh, there she is. She must be running to find the perfect spot to build her sandcastle. This is a sandcastle that Lola built. This is the tall, tall tower of the sandcastle that Lola built. This is the sea glass that signals mermaids from the tall, tall tower of the sandcastle that Lola built. This is the foot. Hey, you stepped in my sandcastle. Oh, said the dude with a frisbee. Oops. You can use this bucket to fix it, said Lola. Okay. What should we add next, X? Asked Lola. We? Oh, look at that. This is the wall that protects the castle, that holds the sea glass, that signals mermaids, from the tall, tall tower of the sandcastle that Lola and Frisbee Dude built. This is the bulldozer. Bzz, beep, beep. Stop, said Lola. You can't dig there. Dig, said the little guy. You can dig here instead and help with our sandcastle. Dig, asked the little guy, more? Yes, said Lola, more. This is the bulldozer that dug the moat that surrounds the wall that protects the castle, that holds the sea glass that signals mermaids from the tall, tall tower of the same castle that Lola and Frisbee Dude and Little Guy built. These are the shells. Oh no, said Lola. Look, they bumped into each other. And the little girl dropped all those seashells. Here, you can have some of mine, said the girl. You found all these? Asked Lola. The girl nodded. I'm bringing them home to Minnesota so I can remember the ocean. Do you want to add shells to our sandcastle? You bet. These are the shells that lead to the moat that surrounds the wall, that protects the castle, that holds the sea glass, that signals mermaids from the tall, tall tower of the sandcastle that Lola and Frisbee Dude and Little Guy and Minnesota Girl built. This is the crash. Oh no, look what happened to the sandcastle. That big wave came on top of the sandcastle, crashed right into it. No way, said Frisbee Dude. Uh-oh, said Little Guy. That's not good, said Minnesota Girl. Lola sniffed. The mermaids didn't even get to move in yet. She packed up her pails. I think I would be sad and upset too after putting all that work in to building the sandcastle and have it disappear like that. So she's wrapped in her towel, sad and lonely. And look at the mermaids and the clouds again. They showed up one more time. Are we making another sandcastle? Asked Frisbee Dude. For mermaids? Asked Minnesota Girl. Again? Asked Little Guy. We? Asked Lola. Look at her face, she's not sad anymore. She looks pretty excited. I'll build the wall. 
Dig, dig. I'll find more shells. I could build a tall, tall tower, said Lola. Hooray. What a great ending. Look at what they built when they all came together. They each had their own special contribution to the sandcastle. Lola was in charge of the towers. Minnesota Girl was in charge of the shells. Frisbee Dude was in charge of the wall. And Little Guy, he was in charge of the moat, right? He was using the bulldozer to dig, dig, dig. Very cool book. Thanks for reading with me today. Remember, don't forget to check out the activities and the other stories that we have that go along with our beach theme. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>